success can be defined by all sorts of things. You can define success by money, happiness, your home, your family, your vehicles, or your status in your career. The truth is, success is defined by you. What you have to do to become successful is also up to you. Because you decide what is success to you, you have to decide when and if you will get there. To start out, you want to define success. At what point will you be successful? How much money will you make? How many children will you have? Will you even be married? How many promotions from success are you? What will you drive? You see, it's all up to you. You should put a lot of thought into what you consider success. Our world is a very materialistic world, and being so, most of us get sucked into thinking that we will only be successful when others tell us we are. This is a very important thought that you should extinguish. No one other than you should be able to tell you when you have succeeded. Only when you have taken the time to really think about what success means to you will you be able to truly find the happiness that comes with being successful. After you decide what success means to you, you have to decide what actions will take you there. Each little step of the way that you get to is another small success you should celebrate. No matter how far from or how close to your final goal you are, you have to celebrate each benchmark you achieve. When you do this, your brain subconsciously connects all the work you did to the pleasure of the success. After a couple of celebrations that are only about your success, you will grow to enjoy work more, because in the end, you know you will be successful from it. Here are a few guidelines you might want to consider when defining your success. One could be, to be truly successful means you have to do it ethically. Ill-gotten success will only leave a part of you empty, begging for more. There's no question about it. To most of us, this is not true success. Another guideline you might consider, your success must not be achieved at the expense of others. People will help you along the way, but success is more about reaching out than it is about moving up. Help enough people get the things you want, and you will make it to the top and have a bunch of close and successful friends there with you. Achievement that moves other people ahead is even more success for you in the end. You also will want to make an honest assessment of where you are before you start defining success for yourself. Figure out where you want to be, then complete the steps needed to get there. This oversimplification has a lot of power. It is not a simple task when the gap between the two points is wide. You should take action towards your goal every day. You will have what appears to be failures along the way, but keep taking action. Learn from those you have done what you want to do. The old adage tells us we should learn from our mistakes. But if we want to be on the fast track to success, then learn from other people's mistakes too. This way, you learn from others and don't make mistakes that take more time to meet your goal. It's very important while on the road to success to have benchmarks as well. Benchmarks are smaller goals. Let's use an example. Say you want to make $1,000 a week and you're currently at $100 a week. You should give yourself a set amount of time. 90 days is a great time frame for goals. The reason why is it's close enough to feel like you can't procrastinate but far enough away to be able to achieve the goal. Anyhow, this is your goal, $1,000 a week in 90 days. Give or take, it's about 12 weeks. A benchmark for this would be a smaller goal that you could be happy with if you don't meet the main goal of $1,000 a week. For example, you want to use something that is 75 to 80% of the main goal. This would be $750 to $800 per week. This should really help you get started on the road to success. With all of these tips and guidelines, Take your time to really figure your definition and then go for it.